the 1.5 is um, the temperature, global mean surface temperature above a zero, de you know, zero degree baseline uh, set from the average between 1850 to 1900. Uh, the current sort of estimate is that we are about 1.1, if you want to be technical, 1.09 plus minus a few hundredth of a degree Celsius based on average measurements from uh, about tens of thousands of weather stations around the world. Uh, we know that um, with the current inertia or momentum in terms of greenhouse gas emissions, we will exceed that sometime in, exceed that 1.5 degree limit uh, by early 2030. That's the unfortunate reality. Now, that number doesn't mean anything, you know, in the, in the you know, isolated sense. But think of it in terms of your own body temperature. We work well, we, we are healthy at a certain core temperature of about 36.9 degrees Celsius. Any little deviation from that in your human system will lead to fever, will lead to you shutting down, you're unable to do you know, um, the, your normal activities. The Earth system in some ways is similar to that. A, a little change, a couple tenth degrees Celsius change can lead to massive impacts. We're already seeing it now. You don't have to look very far back in the news to look at all the heat waves the droughts, the floods, the severe storms, and then the sea level rise that's baked in into the future as well. Uh, the sort of changes in these sort of uh, um, natural systems will result based on that index of temperature rise you know, above that 1.5 degrees Celsius. Uh, in 2018, the IPCC released a special report on what would happen in terms of the risks that human natural systems will face uh, from a 1.5 or a 2 degree C world, and it's not very pretty. It's not very pretty at all. Uh, the, the sort of um, impacts that we're facing now will be exacerbated in terms of a variety of human natural systems. Uh, I, personally, I like to visit the world. I'm, I like to be a tourist, as I would uh, imagine most of us in this room like to be. Uh, a little bit of free advice. If you haven't been to the Great Barrier Reef, if you haven't been to warm water corals, do so now. Yeah. Do so now. Because um, those sort of natural systems, your coral systems that thrived in a certain ocean temperature range, that thrived in a certain um, acidity level, they will not survive in, once temperature hits 1.5. So what are the ramifications for industries, the tourist industry, for industries in, that depend on people visiting those reefs? That's the sort of concern that we have, and that's my speciality in my working group. So it really keeps me up at night to, to, to fear about those impacts when we exceed that 1.5 degree C limit.